when I became a Christian and I saw what a marriage could be, I desired that kind of marriage. And so from the beginning, I was determined to pay whatever price I had to pay to make marriage work. How did I get into all this marriage stuff? It was really firstly a very selfish reason. I just needed to find out what I needed to do to make this thing work. And so I read a lot. I read the Bible. I read books. I have a library of books that I read because I was determined that this thing has to work. And I found out that there is, is hard work. I mean, think about it. How wouldn't it be hard work? You meet somebody. By the time you meet the person, the person is totally formed. They are the sum total of all their experiences in life, 98% of which you don't know. Now, you think you know the person because, it, you know, you went to Costa Coffee, you went to dinner at uh, uh, El, El Cappuccino or whatever, the restaurant, you know, you went to the theater. I mean, can you imagine how foolish human beings are? And, and after that, you think you know the person. That's why most people will say when they are courting, there's so much about us that is similar. When they marry, there's so much about us that is different. Because everybody can put their best foot forward in a courtship. It's when the rubber hits the road that you find out who you've married. And if we are the sum total of all our experiences, and a lot of our experiences we don't share because some of them are embarrassing. Some of them are things that we're not proud to talk about. So all the talking is about the things we want you to know and that we're proud to talk about. So for four hours, I can tell you all the good things. But it takes a certain depth and a certain vulnerability for me to start to tell you the things that really matter. Because those are the things that scarred me, wounded me, shaped me in a way that I, do, I didn't want to be shaped. And if we now get together, how many know that it's going to be hard work for this thing to work? So don't kid yourself. It is hard work. And there's nothing wrong with hard work. It won't be by God's grace a toil, but it will be hard work. You know, just even to get into your head. It's going to be hard work. To understand you, hard work. To, to walk with restraint, hard work. To not jump to the bait of provocation, hard work. To pray so this thing works, hard work. It's going to be hard work. Amen. You guys have all gone quiet on me. <laughs> what? It's hard work. <laughs> But it is hard work. Believe me, it is hard work. 